We are with Coach Tiger Laverde from Kirtland Hornets. First day of practice, how excited are you to get this camp rolling now? It's always exciting. The first day is like Christmas morning. A um, lot of expectations, but there's always expectations here. What are the thoughts of what this team can be? You know, if we stay healthy and, uh, you know, we just get a little bit better every day, I think the you know, sky's the limit for these kids. Um, last, last December, I know the boys are already talking about it. It's already on the blackboard, the score and everything. Um, how big of a motivation is that to uh, lose a state championship game in that manner? Well, I mean, it's a great thing for us this year because we know that they're still in our division and Marion Local is a very good team and they're not going anywhere. So if we want to be able to you know, raise the trophy at the end of the year, we got to be able to play at that level. So we, that, that forces us to, to work hard every single day to, you know, to try to maintain that that level of competition and they're a fantastic team and so that's only going to help us become a better team. Can you tell me looking back what the conversation was like in the locker room afterwards after that game and um, what are some of the things were said that the, 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 the kids were they already motivated then? They're always motivated I mean they lifted the next day we got back from that and uh, you know all I said to the kids and these coaches is you know what a fantastic season 14 and one make it to the state final and, we're proud of you, and we love you. And uh, for the seniors, you know, thank you for four years of of uh, your hard work and, and commitment. The first thing I think of when I look at this team is what's back on offense. You've got a lot of the, I think, seven of your top nine offensive linemen and two 1,400-yard rushers. Is this one of the better offenses potentially that you've had? Yeah, I mean, we got to go to work, and we got to execute, and everybody's got to do the responsibility. But we certainly have you know, the tools to have a pretty good offense. Can you tell me about the, the quarterback position? I know that you did graduate your quarterback from last year. Um, is that one of the positions that you're looking at this year that needs a step up? Well, Tommy Powers is a talented kid. and I mean, he has been since he came in as a freshman. Uh, unfortunately, he was hurt all last year, sat out 15, 15 games. So we've got to keep him healthy. But, um, yeah, quarterback's a position of, of need for, for most teams. And, you know, Tommy's a talented kid, though. He's a good one. How about defense? What do you got? I mean, I know you graduated a lot of guys off of that line or that defensive unit last year. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of DBs back. Had a great summer of seven on seven. Uh, we got a couple of linebackers back that played a lot: um, Longcar and Jernasik and Stevenson. Um, and then the D line, you know, is this pretty much the same guys as on the offensive line. So, you know, we got pretty good depth at the D line, and you know, they just got to be playmakers. Uh, seven on sevens. I know you had some pretty good. Uh, tell me about your wins that you had this year and how good that was for you to play that well this summer in those seven well, on sevens. It was good to see us defend the pass. That's because everybody's running spread these days. So you got to play great defense in those things and um, you know make plays on the ball. And our kids did that, and it was great for our quarterback to you know to find spaces and, and hit open receivers and our kids to catch the ball and, and and get open. So you know that's what we look for is guys that can get separation and quarterback make the right reads and. And really, you know, we got to be able to cover people. If you're going to win a seven-on-seven, seven, you did it, I think, at Pitt this year and at West Geauga. Did you win any other ones? You know, we don't huh. – we're not worried about it. We just go and try to compete. Like, you know, these kids com are very competitive. And so you go to try to win them, but it's really not that big a deal. You just you just try to find who's going to compete, who's going to step up when the game's on the line and make a big play. And, you know, Dawson Cosgrove had a big interception to – to end the pit tournament, uh, the other team could have scored and beat us, and he made a great interception. And, you know, West G, we had guys making a lot of good plays, so it's just fun. It's just competitive, and uh, you know, the kids enjoy it.